Lesson 3, Speed Control. This lesson is designed to outline some important facts about controlling your speed correctly during the driving test. In this lesson, we will focus on acceleration and maintaining correct speed. Let's begin with maintaining the correct speed. Let's say the compulsory speed limit is 50 km per hour. If and when safe to do so, you are expected to keep the vehicle within 5 km per hour of 50. This means you should be travelling between 45 and 50, but do not go 5 km per hour over the speed limit. If you go 5 km per hour over the compulsory speed limit during a driving test, your test can be terminated. Now it's worth noting that if you overemphasize safety by travelling more than 5 km per hour under the speed limit when unnecessary, you may cause drivers to become impatient with you. They may take an unnecessary risk in order to pass you. This style of driving can lead to faults building up against you which could eventually result in a failed test. Also, do not use erratic speed control during your test, for example, frequently altering your speed up and down unnecessarily. This practice will earn faults against you. When possible, keep your speed constant and within 5 km per hour of the compulsory speed limit, but do not go 5 km per hour over. Finally, be aware of compulsory speed signs located at roadworks or schools. You need to apply the same method of speed control to these as you would to all compulsory speed signs. OK, let's take a look at the other part of speed control, accelerating too slowly. Now we have already given you an example of accelerating too slowly in Lesson 2. If you recall, we spoke of forcing traffic to slow down or alter course. We'll now take a look at a different example of accelerating too slowly. This example is a common fault. Often people are overcautious during a driving test. It's a good idea to be careful, but this driving behaviour promotes risk-taking and affects traffic flow. This time, traffic is waiting to move off at the lights. The lights change to green. The two cars in front move off building speed reasonably quickly. But look at what's happening with the blue car. Traffic is held up. Drivers behind will become impatient, or worse, they will take an unnecessary risk. This kind of driving behaviour will lead to faults building up against you. Try to build your speed up from a stationary position reasonably quickly, so you are not unnecessarily affecting the flow of traffic.